I am reminded every day, it seems, especially in these stories that I share here, that war does not care about your personal struggles. When the whole country is dealing with a tragedy, then your personal tragedies pale in comparison. You kind of have to figure them out on your own. Such is the case of a young widow that I recently interviewed. Her husband of about 10, 12 years, she has a 12 year old daughter. So they had been married for a while. They also have a one, year, one and a half year old son. The war starts and it's traumatic for everybody, but you have to keep living, keep making money. The husband goes out to work one day and something happens. He has a heart attack in the car as he's driving in traffic to work and the help can't get there fast enough. So now this family with two kids, one of them being very little, have lost their provider. The grieving mother now has to figure out how to provide for her kids. And it's really hard to do when you have a little baby and the country's in the middle of a war and finding a job right away with all these limitations or at least a job that will make you enough money is really hard. The bills start piling up very quickly, the car note, the rent, everything else, feeding the kids. Praise God that the church family is nearby. Everybody's pitching in, everybody's helping. They throw some money together to help her with the bare essentials, but she's still alone and she's still grieving and she's still in the middle of this whole tragedy encased in a bigger tragedy of the war encased in so many different problems and obviously she's asking questions and her faith is being tested one thing that i've seen here during this war is people really open themselves up to to help others so for example this uh, widow's older daughter she's 12 years old she's a gymnast she's been training for years and they've spent a lot of money on her training and it's a, every it's a monthly expense that now the widow can't afford so the school finds out about this tragedy and they offer to to train, keep training this girl for free for the next year. Then a certain organization comes along, tries to help, uh, offers some money to pay off some debts and other assistance to encourage her and the kids and try to get her moving forward. It's going to be a year soon of her husband's passing and since the war started, I'm sure it's going to be a tough period of time again, but she's a lot better now than a year ago when it happened. She was in shock, obviously she was, she didn't know what to do, but her faith came through. She, is, she was surrounded by her church family. She really saw God provide for her through the different people that, that opened up and offered help, through the organization that came along. Her faith is so much stronger. She's taking care of her kids and she's moving forward with her life. Interestingly enough, my own daughter goes to the summer camp this, this past summer, a couple of months ago, and she meets this girl, the gymnast, the 12 year old, they're the same age, same name actually. Um, and they were talking and the girl told her something that's, that's really touching to me personally, because I know the story, I know the people involved, I had met the husband. The girl was talking about losing her father and then Somebody else came along to, to really help her father's good friend who was a pastor. And he really stepped in to care for this family financially, encouraging them. Even like driving her around, taking her to her training, um, gymnastics and everything. And then this family friend, the pastor, and I knew him myself and I spent time with him. He dies in a motorcycle accident. So she loses a second father figure. You see tragedies all around, and I don't know if war just brings that out, like magnifies it. When it rains, it pours, right? This is the kind of world we're living in. And these are lives, that I'm sure in your own life, you've had times or might be going through something right now where there's a personal tragedy, and, and you don't have time to really take care of yourself and, and, and deal with what you're going through because this stuff happening all around. And this is an example of what's going on in the country. On a personal level, people are dealing with all kinds of stress, all kinds of things, all kinds of family problems, all kinds of burdens that they're carrying. And all these burdens are even more difficult to carry because of everything that's going on. Because of the rockets, because of the news, because of the media, because of the, the situation in the streets, because it's war. And war is unforgiving. In another interview that I just had, somebody said that you can't win a war. Whatever side you're on, People always lose. The country might win, but people always lose. Take away from all this, if you're not in the war zone, praise God, you're free to carry your burdens, to figure out your life, and to move forward with everything that you got. You can pray for this widow, and not just her, because there's many more like her. And if you want to support her and send her some help, we can organize that. There's plenty more stories to tell. Come back tomorrow for another one.